You know, I've been told when you give a TED Talk, you're supposed to open with something personal or maybe a joke. And I have to tell you, the only one that's coming to mind right now is, what is more intimidating than giving a TED Talk? It's giving a TED Talk about innovation in insurance to hundreds of your peers. Come on, guys, you're supposed to chuckle at that at least a little bit. Help me warm, warm things up here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad to see there's many people here because I was a little bit worried that people were kind of done hearing about innovation. Um, you know, it's used so much in everyday business conversation, it's almost become cliche. I mean, we hear it poked fun at in cartoons, in TV commercials. Has anyone seen that commercial about the two cable companies that have merged and the one executive is kind of quirky and he shows up at a business meeting and he throws down on the table, peel and eat shrimp for breakfast and the other CEO looks at it and he says, well, that's innovative. So we hear it everywhere. I'm just waiting for the Saturday Night Live skit on innovation featuring, you know, Justin Timberlake. But in all honesty, I mean, I can joke about it and be a little bit snarky, but um, the world is changing around us. It always has been, but it really feels like it is now. And we can't sit still. We can't sit still as an actuarial profession, and we can't sit still as the insurance industry. So I want to talk about this quote. Uh, it's one of my favorite quotes from Bill Gates. You know, we always overestimate the change that occurs in the next two years, but we tend to underestimate the change that will occur in the next 10. And, and Mr. Gates tells us not to be lulled into inaction. So I just want to flash a few pictures here to remind us, these are things we talk about now that I'm not sure we were talking about 10 years ago, at least not the same way we do now. So this is a good demonstration of how much change does occur in 10 years. You know, now that we're talking about drones outside the military, we're talking about ride sharing, big data, right? About cyber attacks, um, robotics, Internet of Things. I don't think we even had the acronym IOT, Internet of Things, 10 years ago. So what does it mean that we need to be innovative, right? What is this call to action? The first point I want to make is that I don't think companies innovate. I think people innovate, right? People generate new ideas, and people have the passion to see those through the implementation. Yes, our companies sponsor and fund and, and are the organization around our innovation, but it all stems from people. And I also think innovation isn't limited to a small number of people. You know, those people who wear black turtlenecks and have little glasses. In fact, Jim, I think you missed the memo. You were supposed to wear your black turtleneck today. <laughs> so I think any of us can be an innovator. It's not about being born smart and creative and maybe lucky. I think there is an underlying process to innovation. And I think there are some ingredients to it that help break down and help us understand what really lives under the covers of innovation. So I want to focus on three things. Innovation in insurance. What are some skills and attributes of innovators that we can all emulate?